Which of these balls is larger? The one on the left or the right? Actually, they're both the same. This is an example of how efficient or fast thinking can cause mistakes. Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science and how an efficient brain can cause mistakes in life. Your brain has to process a lot of data constantly. It deals with this data in different ways. Daniel Kahneman proposed that you have fast thinking and slow thinking. I'll give you an example. 2 plus 2 equals. This involves fast thinking. It's fast, automatic, and frequent. 173 times 294 would require slow thinking, which is slow, logical, and calculated. In an attempt to be efficient, your brain will apply fast thinking as often as possible, but it may cause some mistakes. For example, see if you can read this passage. How your brain fills in these gaps is still up for debate, but this skill, which I think is a product of fast thinking, can lead to mistakes. For example, I upload videos often. I proofread them carefully, like real carefully. I'll publish one, and it's quickly pointed out that I have a misspelling. For example, I'll misspell qualitative. You can quickly see that I left out the T. Because my brain has read the passage several times, my brain just fills in the missing T. It's as if I'm blind to the misspelling due to fast thinking. More of the story. Have someone read over a paper for misspellings and use spell check. Perception. In an effort to think fast, your brain will make assumptions about how the world should be instead of how the world actually is. In other words, your brain will jump to conclusions. For example, in this picture, your brain wants to associate the ball in the middle with the balls around it and make the ball on the right larger because it just looks that way. It's the way it should be. But in fact, they're the same. How about this? On sale for $9.99. In reality, it's closer to $10, but many times we associate with $9 because it just makes more sense. And what conclusion do you jump to with this statement? Was Abraham Lincoln older than 70 when he died? He was actually 56, but did you think maybe he was close to 70? Be mindful your brain likes to jump to conclusion. Your brain and fast thinking will also try shortcuts when it can. For example, this word problem. Shoes and socks cost $2.10, but if your shoes cost $2 more than your socks, how much did the socks cost? Your brain may want to use a shortcut and say 10 cents. That's logical. But the answer is 5 cents. Here's how it's solved. Be mindful of this in math. And this is one reason why practice is so important in math. If you'd like to know more about brain tricks, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.